This morning, Germany woke up to this. So that's why I'm here dressed up as Edmund Hillary or Reinhold Messmer, whichever one you prefer. Sick to death of just staying indoors and doing these indoor videos and it's such a beautiful carpet of white snow over most of Germany this morning. Let me know what it looks like in your region. If you're from Germany, did it snow where you are today? Got up early, thought I'm going to go into town to show you the town of Dortmund. I've got my Richie body cam, like a police, police officer at a, a demonstration or something. So I'm going to be walking around the city and I've also got my slightly posh camera in the bag because I like taking photos. I'm going to take some photos, do a photo walk of Dortmund and look at Dortmund in the snow. So here we are then, entering the city centre on the northern side, just approaching what's known as the Reinoldi Kirche, big meeting point in the centre of Dortmund. This is uh, not going to be your typical German tourist guided tour around a typical Altstadt, old town. This is Dortmund, remember, with all its warts and all its faults. It's the Ruhrgebiet, it's the Ruhr Valley. You see here, this whole pathway has been shoveled in front of what is the Alex Cafe. You actually, uh, in Germany, you're liable for any accidents in front of your property. So we even have to shift the snow, strictly speaking, from in front of our flat, our house. Very, very deserted. What would you expect? It's very early. I think it must be around half past seven, eight o'clock. I've not really looked at the time. Got up, went out with the dogs for a walk and I absolutely loved it. Well, the big dog did anyway. It's Daisy the bigger dog. The most interesting street photography shots of course are shots with people in them. Candid shots of people walking by. So I'm not gonna get too many of those today. This is of course the main shopping street that we're just accessing now, Westenhelweg, to the other direction to see Ostenhelweg, logically, but this is the busier part of town, normally, with all the shops. Oh, people! Crikey, can you hear that wind? Whew. On my right hand, I have a glove on my left hand, but it's very hard to operate the camera with my right hand with a glove, so my left, right hand's going to drop off from the cold. Little uh, shopping arcade. Don't know what it's called actually. Kruger Horse says up there. Okay. Okay, let's go through here. This here is where the big. Uh, Karstadt buildings are it's Alter Markt or Alter Marktplatz, the old marketplace anyway. Looking very picturesque today. Hello. Ooh. 
Hello Richie. Say cheese. Okay. There's snow. Oh. Drop that down a bit. And I've mentioned this in other videos, in fact I did a whole video about it. It's one of the things that strikes you when you come over to Germany as a, certainly as an Englishman from the industrial north and you come to supposedly the equivalent of the industrial north here in Germany. Supposedly crowded towns and there's all these wide open spaces. There's a lot to be said about German town planning. I don't feel we have these massive open spaces in British industrial towns. Pretty much nobody about. I thought I might encounter at least one or two people. Let's go up to the Stadtgarten. It's a big uh, junction when it comes to public transport. Pretty much all the trams change there. We live very close to the main station, quite near to the city centre. But if we want to take a, a U-Bahn, underground train, tram, whatever, to the main station, Hauptbahnhof, we have to change at Stadtgarten. Café Strickmann. Never ever been there in my life. But the lights look really nice. Don't know if it's going to come across in the photos, this, or if it's coming across in the video. It's snow in my face. I'll try and keep the lens uh, dry. Whoa, blizzard. Crikey! Jesus! Ah, help! Oh, mind you, I did want to see this uh, Friedensplatz, Peace Square. Very peaceful today. <sighs> it looks very pretty. It's very cold. There is the Friedenssäule, the Peace Column. Monument here in the middle of the what is really pretty much the Rathaus area of official city buildings, municipal authorities here. Some of them are quite pretty. Even though they're quite new, quite new, quite new. Seems to be built in uh, it's kind of old style. I don't think it's uh, pre-war. This is about the best what Halle, a new building there. Oh, wow. Yes, nobody's been down here at all. Look at all that virgin snow. There's someone out there clearing the snow from in front of, it looks like, from in front of the Deutsche Bank. Go and annoy him and take his photo. Okay, one last destination. In fact, I'm going to dedicate this video to 
my YouTube friends Diana and Phil. If you don't know their channel, check out their channel. I'll uh, post a link. They're uh, in a similar niche, I suppose, on YouTube. Diana's from the USA. Phil's from Germany. They're in Germany at the moment. International couple. Lots of uh, content about Germany. And I was talking to Phil recently about this area, about Dortmund, the Ruhrgebiet, Ruhr Valley. And uh, they might be interested in seeing this one, this video. So hi Phil and Diana. Hope you're not snowed in. So much fresh snow, it's not been trodden on. Yeah, and as I say, I'm going to end the tour here, this is uh, one of the nicer little areas in the centre of town, Kaiserviertel. This is the Kaiserviertel feel we're talking about. Uh, it brings me quite close to home. I can walk home from here and, and thaw out my frozen hand. There you go. Kaiserviertel. Okay, we've seen some people, we've taken some photos, you've seen Dortmund, my hand really is about to drop off. Time for me to go home. Thanks for watching.
Goedemorgen. 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 Goedem